Uh, let's go to you, Rachel, if you can hear us first. What's the latest there? How are things? Well, it's just been one storm after the other here in Northumberland. The whole of the northeast of England has been battered five times now in four months with these storms. And the difference between this region compared to the rest of the UK is that we are constantly playing catch up. It is so, so difficult, so, so difficult to catch up with the clean up operation. Yeah, it is going to. I mean, this is the problem, isn't it, Rachel, that, you know, it's, it's whatever happens in the immediate term, it's then clearing up afterwards. Yeah, I mean, there's still, the storm Arwen hit, hit um, the farming industry, especially back in November. Joining me now is a farmer from Morpeth in um, High, High Laws Farm. This is David Renton. You've lived here all your life. You've, your family have had this farm for 60 years. Have you ever known anything like this constant battering of storm damage? No, to be fair, um, you know, we've had a few bad storms over the years, but nothing well, like we've had read this are last not the uh, six months, uh, if not more. Um, yeah, I've, I've never seen witnessed anything like it, the devastation that it caused. Uh, you know, when we went to bed that night, you could hear, you could hear the rattling and the crackling and the crashing of trees coming down. It was, I went out for a bit, did a bit clean tree clearing but then it was unsafe to be out there to be honest so came back in and just thought well we're just going to have to see what what things like are in the morning uh, it was just too dangerous to be out there it's like playing catch up isn't it because every time we just start to get back on our feet there's another storm here yeah we seem to be you know we've been having to repair fences you know where trees have came down they've ripped up fences walls you know you just seem to get that done and then you know, the next one comes and there's more trees down, more fences down, uh, roofs off sheds, cattle sheds. Some of the, the modern structures, they've been fine, but some of the older style farm buildings, they've taken a hammering and they have, yeah, slates off here, there and everywhere. Uh, devastation, really. A lot of hard work to be done, uh, restoration for putting it back to how it needs to be. And how has this affected business? Uh, business, yeah, well, it's more, more, more cost, you know, for all, you know, we're insured, it's still, it's still the inconvenience of, you know, rain getting into sheds where it does, doesn't need to be in, there's uh, crops, you know, that's in sheds, they've, they've been, have to be written off because the rain damage that, you know, because it was such a, a wet night as well, it wasn't just wind, it was rain, there were some parts of this northeast had snow, uh, which was devastating as well, so, yeah, it was, and I think the, the rain loosened all the structure around the trees and that you know that's why there were so many came down um, so yeah yeah Speaking of snow, there's quite a lot of snow in Towlaw area of County Durham. We'll be heading there next and we'll keep you posted throughout the day here on GB News.